Right, one last question. Yes, sir. I promise you, I keep saying this. You're, you're fine. Okay, John, let us help the, the new guys with a, an antenna strategy, okay? okay, for a plot. And let's say, how big is that plot? We'll, we'll make it small, okay? Mm -hmm. It's enough for about, you could just squeeze about eight cars on that, you know, at the back of the house, okay? okay. And that's all they've got, all right. okay? Without, it's enough, probably, you could just squeeze like, 40 meters all the way around. You can get a loop in maybe, something okay. like that. Okay, so I want to come up with some options for people mm -hmm. who, because I get this question all the time and I'm just mm -hmm. after, I'm just, I'm just after John's help on this one, ladies and gentlemen, all right? So <laughs> I just, so I'm going to give you my antenna strategy and then maybe you can challenge it. Okay. If, if that's, if that's good. So, yeah. okay, so. Uh, in the last video, John said that the the if he only had one ten, it, it would it would be a DX commander. We don't need to go why and all that sort of stuff. And I am DX commander, and if I had my choice, it would still be a DX commander. In fact, John, mm -hmm. my first out real antenna, commercial antenna, was a G five RV, mm -hmm. right? And and it kind of worked, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, I I just ended up being on forty meters all the time. Sure, but. Um, if, if I had just passed my test and someone had given me a DX commander, I would have been completely spoiled. Mm -hmm. I, I, wouldn't, I, know, I wouldn't know where to go. Yep. I've got everything. My God, you know, completely spoiled. So I ended up most of the time on 40 metres. But mm -hmm. there we are. So this is my backyard. Uh, the whole thing's for free. I'm Somewhere over here, probably not right in the middle, I'm going to put my DX commander in a few radials. I'm probably make them a bit longer over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I've got my DX commanders, and that'll just give me all band transmit regular most of the time. However, I'm going to run uh, one piece of good coax out to my uh, uh, transmit antenna. I'm going to run probably two or three, maybe less expensive, not quite RG58, but maybe that, uh, you know, RG some fair, fairly, nice, fairly nice stuff. But you don't need to spend a fortune, right? Because, f f forget that now. I now, I'm going to put, buy one of those little, um, you can buy these for $10. Uh, people sell, sell them on eBay, but a loop on the ground. Sure. Okay, I'm going to put a loop on the ground. It's anywhere, it doesn't really matter. And that's that's got a piece of coax to it. And that will, um, that's going to give me a really nice, if I'm in a housing estate and there might be fairy lights and fridges and microwaves, my good transmit antenna might be quite loud on receive, right? Because mm -hmm. it's not necessarily, I know there is, I can't say this word, John, reciprocity, reciprocal, right? <laughs> reciprocity. Uh, re thank you. Um, I had to think about it too. <laughs> He, he might he might have, he might have to say that again for me I'm not quite sure but anyway um so yes just because uh, your transmit antenna is fantastic on transmit it might also be too good on receive and you will hear everything that you don't want to hear right yeah. so anyway I'll have my loop underground because for certainly 40 and 20 and 80 mm -hmm. that's going to work really nicely. And then hopefully you've got a tree knocking around somewhere. It doesn't really matter where, but you've got a tree. Because I'm going to try and squeeze in a monoband 40 meter, well, there's an option here, probably a 40 meter dipole, low to the ground, 10 feet, 12 feet, I don't care. And that, that could be a funny shape. That could come across the top of the tree here and no not matter where it goes, all right? So yeah, you'll need a bit of coax to that as well because you need a little switch in the shack to go from your DX commander to your 40 meter vert, uh, loop, uh, dipole. And then most radios, or if you haven't bought a radio yet, maybe do this, but most radios in the back have got a little receive jack. So you can permanently plumb in this little, that's not for transmit, it's just for receive only. You can permanently plumb that in the back of the radio and then on the front panel of the radio you can hit receive the receive so you can still transmit 
on your main transmit antenna and then you can receive on this if you've got a two vfo rig it becomes another discussion however john uh, you could develop this in time this could become it could become a loop mm -hmm. with a four to one ballon and that will give you if that's about I can't remember the exact uh, the exact size about 40 meters 41 meters or 43 meters 42 meters yeah 100 probably 100, be less 45 feet or so 140 yeah. feet, yeah you you'll get the 40 meter band and you'll get 20 uh, 15 and 10 off that but if it's low to the ground it, it'll just be an interesting receive thing but it will transmit and do quite well well very well actually or on 40 you know that daytime stuff there's a lot of nets and stuff Yep. People who are not DXing, they just want to chat and high angle, high angle radiation. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. You just want your your RF to go mm. up there somewhere and Invest. back down again, hundred yeah. miles away, two hundred miles away, up to about four or five hundred miles away, and then then your DX command all starts to come in then because you want the lower angle. So as an antenna strategy, John, have I about got that right, or would you do something different? Well. That's similar to what I have set up here with the DX commander and, and Delta loop and, and a receive antenna. Now my receive antenna is different. It's a vertical loop. It's commercially made, but you okay. can deal with the loop on the ground. It's no problem at all. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the way I would look at it is in quite, you know, with, with the you know, radios people begin with an 891 or uh, a 7300 or you know a 590 i think the 590 has a receive jack on it but like it an does. icon 7300 only has one antenna port and a receive jack yeah so it's a hack have, for a 7300 for there's, receive there's a hack yeah. for that yeah you could um you could put for ones that don't have that receive jack you could put a tr switch from like mfj they make a tr switch ah that'll, yeah that'll allow you to listen yeah. on one now you're not going to be able to hear like you know, with your radio, you have one in one ear and one in the other. You're transmitting one and receiving the other. Um, but you could use a, a TR a TR switch and listen and receive. Um, but yeah, they you, do automatic ones, don't they? So when you exactly, transmit, as soon as it sends RF, it goes to one antenna and it and doesn't then it RF, clicks it back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it does that out in the backyard. You have got a little box out there. I think, no, it's, and it's, it's actually in, it's actually in the shack. Uh, okay, fine. So you still need. Radio. Okay, fine. All right. Yeah. So right. you need something to power it with 12 volts. That's it. I mean, it's, it's simple. Yeah. It's like a 1708 or something from MFJ. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I mean, other than switching back and forth with a hand switch, but I don't think well, you want to do that. Mm, yeah. No, I've done that. Um, yeah. So yeah, your antenna strategy is good. Now for me, if I were doing this all over again mm. and I had a very limited space, mm. I would do the DX commander. Cause that's, I mean, when you talk about, a vertical um and you want to chase the x that low angle of radiation you get off of a vertical a ground yeah. mounted vertical especially helps yeah. with the dx chasing right yeah loops yeah. and things that are up high you don't get as much you have to get really high to get a horizontal antenna to get down to the ground you right? too for a low low elevation so there's a couple antennas that you know are easy to build or or inexpensive you know an n-fed half wave mm -hmm. um that you know in a small backyard 10 through 40 is what like 66 feet long so yeah. you can do that or 130 feet if you want at 80. yeah um, an off-center fed dipole um is an uh, option, yeah yeah right it if is, you have yeah, yeah. if you have a way to hang it an off-center fed dipole and and i've got great experience with those and and they're really yeah. good antennas yeah. um and they're low cost right you put yeah. a four yeah. to one ball in the center you feed it 20 percent, 21 percent in from one end and you end up with a 135 footer for 80, 10 through 80, 66 yeah. feet thereabouts for a um, 10 through 40. Mm. Um, and those will give you good, you know, antennas to put up. Now, mm. if I had the room, an 80 meter delta loop, oh, heck yeah, all day long. Mm. And the beauty of, you know, you have two antennas sitting in the backyard. When you have a horizontally polarized antenna and a vertically polarized antenna, <laughs> the interaction yeah is not that much. You get about no. 30 dB of isolation between yeah. those two. So that's going to help you a bunch yeah. um, when you're talking about um, building, you know, or having interaction between the antennas. Yeah. Um, now, if you had two verticals, 
close by if they're both hooked to coax it's a whole different animal yeah. um, mutual coupling and all that but yeah when you get a horizontal and a vertical it makes a, a big difference for you yeah yep so i would look at you know either doing it the way you're doing it with a dipole and maybe turning it into a loop um and a loop on the ground for receive mm. or an off-center fed dipole or mm-hmm. maybe an in fed half wave mm. um in the, in the vertical again when you talk about a dx commander cost efficiency ease of maintenance that that's the antenna right mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. going to be your main antenna run your good coax out there mm-hmm. use the other one as a you know as another another way of doing it and, and the lower mm-hmm. that dipole is the ground the higher those takeoff angles are going to be yeah. the more the, the smaller your skip zone gets right indeed yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. so on 20 so, meters you need a little bit of height yeah, I mean, thirty a quarter wave on on twenty meters is what thirty or halfway yeah, is yeah. thirty feet. Yeah. So yeah. Th- quarter yeah. wave. Yeah. Most yeah. people uh, have a tree that's going to get them up thirty feet. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Half. So uh, yeah, you're aiming at half a wavelength. That's yeah, absolutely right. right. Yeah, forty is a different challenge. Sixty six feet. Oh, I know. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you can do it if you got a. If you get, you'd have a bigger yard, wouldn't you? And you got yeah. a big oak tree in the back or something, and then you know the world's your oyster. You can have a lot of fun then. Mm-hmm. Get yourself. And when I joined my club, uh, first of the, the first time I I went down there, I kept eyeballing this roll of, I think they call it drop wire from the telephone company. It was like hard drawn copper wire, but there was a pair of them, you know, all molded yep. together. Yep. And and um, and I'm not joking. It was falling apart, and there was little insects growing out of this thing, right? And and I finally had the bottle to say to the chairman or whatever else. That looks like it's never going to be used again. Can I have it, please? Because I was skinned. I didn't have any money. Yeah. So I took it home. Somebody built me a little block of wood with a, uh, with a razor blade. You mm-hmm. could put it in. I could split the two. The trouble is, it all went like this. You know, yep. you got a big because it was the copper wire. But my first 1,000 antennas I made with this stuff was yep. great. So if you get some cheap wire then you can do this for bugger all. Because then what you can start doing, I don't know if you did this, John, uh, I didn't li- literally have any money. You know, I re-mowed, w- rewired my my computer mouse once. I couldn't afford to buy a new one, you know, to take it apart. Yeah. Um, so you know, I made a dipole centre, you know, out of, you know, mm-hmm. a bit of wood and whatever, just to get the centre of the coax going one way and the, the braid going mm-hmm. the other. Anything else you want to add to that one? Uh, I was going to say, you were, talking about, you were talking about cheap wire. There's, yeah. You know, you can go on some of these surplus sites and they'll have old military comms wire. It's two uh, yeah. it's Siamese, so two wires with a jacket over it. The jacket's yeah. ruggedized because it's used for the military for comms. So yeah. you can take that and split it in half. Now, it does have some memory to it, so it'll cool up yeah. on you. Yeah. But that stuff works really well. And the other thing I found that works really well is electric fence wire. That's cheap. Okay. Now it's now it's not insulated, so your velocity factor changes just a little bit. Yeah. Um, but that works really well for cheap wire. I mean, you can go and buy a roll of that, you know, locally, you yeah. know, at farm supply stores for you know next to nothing. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. And you don't need to be worried about velocity factor really, because what you'll find is you'll you'll put it up and it'll either be too long or too short. Well, you'll and you'll get it close enough to metal it'll cut itself to resonance. <laughs> Which is a video I want to do, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll do uh, probably on, like, say, 40 metres, I'll, I'll, I'll get a piece of wire, which is far too short, yep. and then a tight, then a bit of paracord, and then a little thin piece of copper wire that's mm-hmm. too long, and then I'll blast it just to see mm-hmm. if I can do it. Uh, you've been watching MJ for Zulu and M Zero MCX, John and Callum, having some fun here. I hope you've been enjoying this little series, uh, ladies and gentlemen. John, thanks a lot for joining me uh, yet again. Oh, my pleasure. Um, it feels like we've been here all morning, and we have actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great fun anytime. <laughs> all the best, guys. Bye now. Seven three. Oh.